Edward Witten, born August 26, 1951, is an American theoretical physicist and professor of mathematical physics at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey. Witten is a researcher in string theory, quantum gravity, supersymmetric quantum field theories, and other areas of mathematical physics. In addition to his contributions to physics, Witten's work has significantly impacted pure mathematics. In 1990, he became the first and so far the only physicist to be awarded a Fields Medal by the International Mathematical Union, awarded for his 1981 proof of the positive energy theorem in general relativity. <laughs> Early life and education Witten was born in Baltimore, Maryland, to a Jewish family. He is the son of Lorraine Wallach Witten and Lewis Witten, a theoretical physicist specializing in gravitation and general relativity. Witten attended the Park School of Baltimore, class of 68, and received his Bachelor of Arts with a major in history and minor in linguistics from Brandeis University in 1971. He published articles in The New Republic and The Nation. He worked briefly for George McGovern's presidential campaign. Witten attended the University of Wisconsin-Madison for one semester as an economics graduate student before dropping out. He returned to academia, enrolling in applied mathematics at Princeton University in 1973, then shifting departments and receiving a Ph.D. in physics in 1976 under David Gross, the 2004 Nobel laureate in physics. He held a fellowship at Harvard University 1976-77, visited Oxford University 1977-78, was a junior fellow in the Harvard Society of Fellows 1977-1980, and held a MacArthur Foundation Fellowship 1982. Research Fields Medal work Witten was awarded the Fields Medal by the International Mathematical Union in 1990, becoming the first physicist to win the prize. In a written address to the ICM, Michael Adia said of Witten, Although he is definitely a physicist, as his list of publications clearly shows, his command of mathematics is rivaled by few mathematicians, and his ability to interpret physical ideas in mathematical form is quite unique. Time and again he has surprised the mathematical community by a brilliant application of physical insight leading to new and deep mathematical theorems. H. E. has made a profound impact on contemporary mathematics. In his hands physics is once again providing a rich source of inspiration and insight in mathematics. As an example of Witten's work in pure mathematics, Adia cites his application of techniques from quantum field theory to the mathematical subject of low-dimensional topology. In the late 1980s, Witten coined the term topological quantum field theory for a certain type of physical theory in which the expectation values of observable quantities encode information about the topology of spacetime. In particular, Witten realized that a physical theory now called Chern-Simons theory could provide a framework for understanding the mathematical theory of knots and three manifolds. Although Witten's work was based on the mathematically ill-defined notion of a Feynman path integral and was therefore not mathematically rigorous, mathematicians were able to systematically develop Witten's ideas, leading to the theory of Reshetakin Turayev invariance. Another result for which Witten was awarded the Fields Medal was his proof in 1981 of the positive energy theorem in general relativity. This theorem asserts that under appropriate assumptions the total energy of a gravitating system is always positive and can be zero only if the geometry of spacetime is that of flat Minkowski space. It establishes Minkowski space as a stable ground state of the gravitational field. While the original proof of this result due to Richard Schoen and Xing Tung Yao used variational methods, Witten's proof used ideas from supergravity theory to simplify the argument. A third area mentioned in Adia's address is Witten's work relating supersymmetry and Morse theory, a branch of mathematics that studies the topology of manifolds using the concept of a differentiable function. Witten's work gave a physical proof of a classical result, the Morse inequalities, by interpreting the theory in terms of supersymmetric quantum mechanics. <laughs> M-theory By the mid-1990s, physicists working on string theory had developed five different consistent versions of the theory. 
These versions are known as Type 1, Type IIA, Type IIB, and the two flavors of heterotic string theory so 32 and E8 times E8. The thinking was that out of these five candidate theories, only one was the actual correct theory of everything, and that theory was the one whose low energy limit matched the physics observed in our world today. Speaking at the String Theory Conference at University of Southern California in 1995, Witten made the surprising suggestion that these five string theories were in fact not distinct theories, but different limits of a single theory which he called M-theory. Witten's proposal was based on the observation that the five string theories can be mapped to one another by certain rules called dualities and are identified by these dualities. Witten's announcement led to a flurry of work now known as the Second Superstring Revolution. Topic. Other work Another of his contributions to physics was to the result of gauge – gravity duality. In 1997, Juan Maldacena formulated a result known as the ADS-CFT correspondence, which establishes a relationship between certain quantum field theories and theories of quantum gravity. Maldacena's discovery has dominated high-energy theoretical physics for the past 15 years because of its applications to theoretical problems in quantum gravity and quantum field theory. Witten's foundational work following Maldacena's result has shed light on this relationship. In collaboration with Nathan Seiberg, Witten established several powerful results in quantum field theories. In their paper on string theory and noncommutative geometry, Seiberg and Witten studied certain noncommutative quantum field theories that arise as limits of string theory. In another well known paper, they studied aspects of supersymmetric gauge theory. The latter paper, combined with Witten's earlier work on topological quantum field theory, led to developments in the topology of smooth four manifolds, in particular the notion of Seiberg Witten invariance. With Anton Kapustin, he has made deep mathematical connections between S-duality of gauge theories and the geometric Langlands correspondence. Partly in collaboration with Seiberg, one of his recent interests include aspects of field theoretical description of topological phases in condensed matter and non-supersymmetric dualities in field theories that, among other things, are of high relevance in condensed matter theory. From a generalization of SYK models from condensed matter and quantum chaos, he has also recently brought tensor models of Garou to the relevance of holographic and quantum gravity theories. In general, Witten has done influential and insightful works in many aspects of quantum field theories and mathematical physics, including the physics and mathematics of anomalies, integrability, dualities, localization, homologies and so on. Many of his results have deeply influenced many areas in theoretical physics often well beyond the original context of his results, including string theory, quantum gravity and topological condensed matter. Awards and honors Witten has been honored with numerous awards including a MacArthur Grant 1982, the Fields Medal 1990, the Nemers Prize in Mathematics 2000, the National Medal of Science 2002, Pythagoras Award 2005, the Henri Poincaré Prize 2006, the Crawford Prize 2008, the Lorentz Medal 2010, the Isaac Newton Medal 2010, and the Fundamental Physics Prize 2012. Since 1999, he has been a foreign member of the Royal Society London, and in March 20 2016 was elected an Honorary Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. Pope Benedict XVI appointed Witten as a member of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences 2006. He also appeared in the list of Time magazine's 100 Most Influential People of 2004. In 2012, he became a fellow of the American Mathematical Society. In an informal poll at a 1990 cosmology conference, Witten received the largest number of mentions as the smartest living physicist. Topic: <inaudible> Personal life. Witten has been married to Kiara Nappi, a professor of physics at Princeton University, since 1979. They have two daughters: Alana, a neuroscientist at Princeton University, and Daniela, a biostatistician at University of Washington, and one son, Raphael, and a granddaughter, Nava. Witten sits on the board of directors of Americans for Peace Now and is also on the advisory council of J Street. He supports the two-state solution and advocates a boycott of Israeli institutions and economic activity beyond its 1967 borders, though not of Israel itself. 
Witten is also a keen tennis player. Topic: <laughs> Selected publications. Some problems in the short distance analysis of gauge theories. Princeton University, 1976. Dissertation. Roman Jacku, David Gross, Sam B. Tryman, Edward Witten, Bruno Zumino. Current Algebra and Anomalies, a set of lecture notes and papers. World Scientific, 1985. Green, M., John H. Schwartz, and E. Witten. Superstring Theory. Volume 1, Introduction. Cambridge Monographs on Mathematical Physics. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press, 1988. ISBN 9780521357789. Green, M. 1988. John H. Schwartz, and E. Witten. Superstring Theory. Volume 2, Loop Amplitudes, Anomalies and Phenomenology. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press, 1988. ISBN 9780521357789. Green, M. 1988. American Mathematical Society, Providence, Rhode Island, Institute for Advanced Study IAS, Princeton, N.J., 1999. Volume 1, XXII plus 723 pp, Volume 2, pp, IXXIV and 727-1501. ISBN 0-8218-1198-3, 8106-81T3081TXX. Topic. References Topic. External links Faculty webpage Publications on Archive O'Connor, John J., Robertson, Edmund F. Edward Witten. MacTutor History of Mathematics Archive, University of St. Andrews. Edward Witten at the Mathematics Genealogy Project a Physicist's Physicist Ponders the Nature of Reality, interview with Natalie Wilchover in Quanta Magazine, 28 November 2017.